I'm Kimberly with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library, and today I want to talk to you about a book that I've read recently called The Gracier by Kim Liggett. Although this is a dystopian story, there are no big revolutions happening in The Gracier by Kim Liggett. Revolutions realistically begin as small acts over the span of many rebellions. And in puritanical Garner County, the first rebellions are happening in girls like 16-year-old Tierney Jones. Raised as a cynical tomboy in a society that believes women are harborers of harmful magic. Harmful magic? Harmful magic. No. <laughs> Tierney is disdainful of the submissive roles that women play and dismissive of women and girls in general. You know the type. But she's a rooted, earthy heroine with a grounded sense of reality. She can trust what she can see and prove. And she can't prove that she harbors any magic, harmful or otherwise. Anyway, she's about to turn 16. She will be expelled from Garner County with the other girls her age to burn out her magic deep in the undeveloped forests outside of town. If she survives her grace year in the wild, good luck. She will return to Garner County purified for marriage and motherhood. Purified for marriage and motherhood. Yes, I'm sure that's what she'll settle for. No problems there. Sounds like a girl who loves marriage and motherhood. Tierney's upbringing and survival skill set make her more than capable of making it through her Gracier unscathed. She isn't quite as prepared to live amongst the other Gracier girls who is. Unfortunately, unfortunately, their shared cabin is the only sanctuary from the poachers waiting in the wilderness to try to steal their burgeoning magic when they're not paying attention. As the Gracier girls embrace their natures outside the bounds of organized society, frustrations begin to boil over and soon the Gracier girls are tearing each other apart. Let's have a moment of silence for the fallen Gracier girls. Tierney Jones. Tierney Jones' attitudes is reminiscent of many typical YA heroines. She doesn't think she's like the other girls because of her strong individualistic streak and her atypical interests. The Gracier deconstructs this line of thinking, but it's a messy process. Tierney is fascinating as a protagonist who is both a well-meaning outsider and a judgmental figure in her own right. She's got to build relationships with other girls to survive. The power structure in Garner County sets women up to tear each other down, and Tierney comes to realize that her line of thinking is both a product of Garner County and an endorsement of that power structure. Her time in the Grace Year challenges her preconceptions of what it is to be like the other girls. The varying complexities of female relationships in this book are explored with great care. The things we do to girls is the theme that inspired author Kim Liggett. Garner County does ask a lot of the girls in this book. Women, without even realizing it, are constantly policing themselves and each other in order to survive. Tierney continues to rely mostly on herself. Uh, even after she's challenged to think about the thoughts and feelings of the other women in her life. The story feels by the book, and the twists, although unexpected, left me wanting to explore the other characters, the other women in particular. What were they thinking during all of this? It's very tyranny sided and while that's fine, I would have liked to have learned more. But here's what's good. The characters and the plot reeled me in. I read this in one sitting. One. So if you don't want to think too hard, and you want a decent, slow-burning yarn about a dystopian girl coming of age, grab this book. This is the one. It's an all-female Hunger Games with a dash of Lord of the Flies thrown in. This is a story about holding true to what you can prove, holding fast to what you know, while at the same time being open to changing your mind about the people around you. Essentially, it's about growing up. And if you do it well, it's about how you could inspire others with small acts of rebellion along the way. Hey, I hope you liked this review. If you think you like books, then you should come to the library. And if you think you want reviews about books, you should check out facebook.com or kakushulibrary.org for more reviews just like the one you saw. Would you rather live in a town like Garner County or Paneum? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. See ya! I'll get to the review once I stop looking at this perfect cover. This perfect, perfect book cover.